Are you interested in living in a place that we identify as heaven? Of course, you might respond. Wouldn't we all like to go there? Well, you would think so, but not everyone feels that way. Honestly, God is who he is, and not everyone wants to be with him. Here's a few questions to ask yourself to help determine your interest. Would you rather have your life on your own terms than on God's? Does God's authority feel like a loss of your freedom and anger you? Would you rather party with your friends than be in God's presence? And if these are a yes, then heaven is probably not for you. God is, after all, the sovereign, all-powerful, all-knowing creator. And by virtue of being the supreme being, it's rightful for us to yield. We're in no position to second-guess God, and none of us knows enough to call him into question. That being said, he's also benevolent and compassionate. He enacts his will out of eternal grace, love, and mercy. And from his wisdom, God provides the very best possible. Heaven is where God is, and where God is, there is heaven. It's a place where righteousness reigns, and all is good, beautiful, and true. Evil and disease, suffering and pain is brought to an ultimate end. It's a place of beauty, peace, constant health, and lasting joy. In heaven, our experience of God will never reach its completion. We will never finally arrive like we would on a trip. Our experience of God will never become stale, but it will deepen and develop, unfold and increase, broaden and enlarge. So with this reality in mind, let me ask you a different set of questions. Is God's rule of life more appealing to you than a sin-dominated life? Do you trust that God has your best interests at heart? Are you being drawn to God's good, beautiful, and true? If these are a yes, then heaven probably is for you. So we must consider the way that one arrives in heaven. And for clarity, we're going to look at 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 19. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We need to be reconciled to God to have a settled relationship. We need to become a new creation. In Christ. Humanity arrived at a dysfunctional relationship with God in the Garden of Eden. Satan came into the garden and he said to Adam and Eve, you cannot trust God. He's holding out on you. You've got to take matters into your own hands. Satan sowed mistrust and tempted them to seize control. And it's the very same lie that Satan continues to use on us to this day. He tells us, trusting God, it's way too risky. Give yourself something better. Get your own happiness. Disregard God. God created us in his image for union and a whole life with him. And the fall shattered this union, resulting in estrangement. We're, we're in a fix, needing to have restored what has been broken. We need a reconciled relationship with God. By giving himself completely at the cross, actually dying for you, Christ brings you over to God's side and puts your life together. You can now be whole and holy in God's presence. But... He just doesn't snatch you out of this evil world against your will. He requires that you repent of your sins and submit to his purpose and work. In Christ, you become a new person altogether. 
The past is finished and gone, and everything becomes fresh and new. We become new creatures entirely. It's a radical transformation and a reorientation of our entire being. We await our final and perfect transformation in the end of time. Our citizenship, it's in heaven. Our outlook goes way beyond this world, which brings us to our key spiritual insight. Reconciliation with God is for those who recognize the sting of a broken life and want something better. Now, as a personal representative of the king and of his kingdom, I plead with you, receive the love he offers you. Turn from your sin, from your haunted memories, your unresolved past, and your continuing trauma for the good, the beautiful, and the true of heaven. Be reconciled to God.